Most people are wasting time chasing the Google Data Analytics Certificate and wondering why they're still not getting hired. They're told this is the first step to get into data. So they grind through all the modules, post the shiny badges on LinkedIn, and put it on their resume and just waiting for the job offers to come through. But then silence, no interviews, no responses, just being ghosted. I know the feeling I was there. I followed the same playbook. I did everything right and I still couldn't land a single offer. And it wasn't until I stopped relying on certificates and started thinking like a real analyst that things finally clicked. So within 30 days of shifting my strategy, in-demand skill sets, high value projects, and a clear portfolio, I had multiple interviews lined up and a few six-figure offers on the table. Since then, I have helped over a thousand people do the same, from truck drivers to teachers to folks laid off with no clue how to pivot into data. And they're not just getting hired, they're skipping the entry-level roles and landing roles that change lives. So in this video, I'm going to expose the truth on why the Google cert isn't getting you hired, the truth that no one else is willing to share, and the exact things that you need to be doing instead that will actually land you a data analyst job. Because the market is ruthless, but it is winnable if you play the game right. And no, you don't need another degree, you don't need to go back to school, and you definitely don't need to go spend 10K on a boot camp. You just need the right strategy. If this is your first time here, my name is Kadisha. I used to deliver pizzas and now I deliver insights as a self-taught data scientist. And I've helped thousands of other career changers break into tech without going back to school. And I'm here to teach you how to do the same. So let's dive in. So now you're probably thinking, why am I hating so much on the Google certificate? Let me break it down for you point by point, because once you understand exactly where the certificate falls short, you'll stop blaming yourself and start seeing the game for what it really is. The problem isn't that you're not smart enough. The problem is the cert was never designed to get you hired in the first place. And let's dive into why. Number one, it's not rigorous enough to compete. Why? Because the course doesn't really push you hard enough. You don't really get a lot of complex problems and you don't get feedback on your work. It's like preparing for a marathon by walking on a treadmill once a week. Technically, you're training, but you won't be ready on race day. And when recruiters give you a technical screen, that gap becomes painfully obvious. Number two, it doesn't go deep enough on the tools that actually matter. Their certificate introduces key tools, but only on the surface level. You might touch some SQL and some dashboards, but not in a way that prepares you for real world expectations. Because in actual data roles, you're expected to do more than just run basic queries and make pretty charts. You're expected to analyze, clean, visualize, and present data in a way that drives decisions. And when you're barely scratching the surface, the gap again becomes obvious, especially in interviews. These aren't nice to have skills, they're core to the job. Here's the final nail in the coffin. The Google cert teaches R as its core programming language, but most entry-level analyst roles don't even use R. They use SQL, maybe Python, especially at companies that pay six figures. So you're investing your time in a tool that might help you get into academia, but not in most business settings. It's like training with a typewriter in a world now full of laptops and computers, obsolete for what most companies need today. Let's be real, it's not a secret cert. You're competing with over 2 million other people who also completed the cert. And you know what happens when hiring managers see it listed by everyone? It becomes white noise. The harsh truth, the Google cert alone doesn't differentiate you. It just puts you in a crowd, not ahead of it. So now that we've dragged the Google cert through the mud with good reason, let's talk about what really works because plenty of people are still breaking into data and you can too. So number one, build the right skills in the right order. Here's a harsh truth. Most people are learning data analytics completely backwards. They hop from Python tutorials to random SQL courses, sprinkle in some Excel, and wonder why nothing sticks. Let me save you some months of wasted time. You don't need to learn everything. You only need to learn the right skills in the right order and get very good at them. So number one, start with Excel. It's the gateway into analytics. 
You should be fluent in pivot tables, conditional formatting, some lookup functions, basic statistics, and Power Query for data cleaning. No, it's not just spreadsheets. Excel done right is actually a pretty good weapon. SQL. This is the real gatekeeper. If you can't write join, subqueries, window functions, and clean data in SQL, you're not job ready. Full stop. Every decent data role expects this, and the Google cert doesn't really go into it in depth enough. Data storytelling. This is where 90% of your competition drops the ball. They can run a query, but they don't know what to do with the results. You need to be able to communicate the insights visually and clearly. Think, what's the big takeaway and why should anyone else care? Next, PowerPoint. That's right, PowerPoint. Not everything you do will live in a dashboard or a spreadsheet. Sometimes you'll need to present your findings in a clear strategic narrative. And if your slides look like copy and pasted bar charts with no structure or story, you'll be skipped over. Fast, you need to be able to design slide decks that influence decisions. Next, dashboarding with Tableau or Power BI. Just choose one. Learn how to build dashboards that not only look good, but answers real business questions. You need to learn layout, design, and how to lead your audience's eyes to insight. Lastly, an optional Python. Python's great after you've nailed all the above that I talked about. Focus on data cleaning, automation, and some light analysis, not deep machine learning. For most data analysts, Python is a cherry on top not the main dish. Remember, a good analyst doesn't just know tools, they know how to think. And if you can think like an analyst, present like a consultant, and execute like a pro, you're not just hireable, you've now become dangerous. All right, next thing you need to do, build high value projects that prove you can think like an analyst. So let's get one thing straight. If your portfolio is just a bunch of copy and paste projects from tutorials, you're not standing out. You're blending in, and that's the fastest way to stay unemployed. If you want to actually land interviews, your projects need to scream, hey, this person solves real business problems. When one of my students applied the exact same process I'm about to share with you, she landed four senior data analyst offers in just under 90 days. So here's how you do it. Number one, research high value problems in your target industry. Don't just start with the data, start with the problem because people are reviewing your portfolio. They don't care how many charts you can make, they care how you can move the needle. So ask yourself, what keeps decision makers up at night in your target industry? If you're targeting healthcare, maybe it's reducing patient wait times or preventing hospital readmissions. Maybe e-commerce, it might be customer churn or abandoned cart rates. Logistics, maybe it's supply chain delays or inventory management. Whatever the industry you are going after, your first job is to understand what matters most to that business. And look, you don't need to guess. You can literally Google this, hit Reddit, scroll LinkedIn, look at industry blogs, heck, even ask ChatGPT or Perplexity. What are five high value problems in SaaS marketing? Boom, you've got your problem worth solving. All right, so once you got your problem and you got your data, now it's time to tell a good story with your analysis. You're not just building some charts, that's just a baseline. Now you wanna separate yourself from the pack. Ask yourself, what's the insight here? What's the recommendation? And if you were presenting this to a stakeholder, what decision would they make based on your analysis? And you're not just making visuals, you're driving action. So you need to deliver that story twice, once in a dashboard and then another in a consulting style slide deck. Here's the difference. Your dashboard should give stakeholders a way to interact with the data. It should answer one core business question, be intuitive and highlight what matters most. This is proof that you can build something clean, functional and insightful, not just pretty charts. Then you take that insight and package it into a slide deck, not just screenshots of charts thrown on the slide. I'm talking a clear narrative with action-oriented titles, business context, and then one big idea per slide. And then any recommendations that you would like to show as a consultant. 
Because real analysts don't just analyze, they persuade. They translate data into decisions. If your dashboard proves you just know tools, your slide deck proves you know business. And trust me, both are critical. So if you're not doing either of these, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. Okay, so once you have the skills, you got the projects, it's time to package it all in a portfolio that gets attention. This is your proof of work. This is what makes you different from the 99% of people spamming the easy apply button. So when you put it all together, make it clean. You can host it on Notion, Canva, or even a free Wix site. It really doesn't matter. It just needs to be easy to access and easy to digest. As long as you don't send them to a random unorganized GitHub repo. Because if I'm a hiring manager looking at your portfolio and I think this person looks like they're already doing the job, you're getting the interview, period. All right, so let's bring it home. If you've been relying on a certificate to carry your job search, now you know why that strategy isn't working. But more importantly, you know what also does work now. Learn the right skills and learn them in the right order. Build high value projects that solve real business problems. You don't need another degree. You don't need to go back to school and you don't need to be stacking certificates. Start showing your value. And if you want to start doing all of this faster with mentorship, strategy, and accountability, check the link in the description. I've got a link to my free training on exactly how we can work together. Either way, stop waiting for permission to take control of your career because people are out here landing six-figure roles in data right now, and there's no reason why you can't be next.